Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find out if your market niche is going to be a profitable one, okay? Because just because uh, your market niche has demand online doesn't automatically mean that it's going to be profitable as well. So, how do you find out if your market niche is going to be profitable for you, okay? So, the easiest way to find out is to just take a look at how many businesses or if businesses are actually spending money uh, online to advertise to your particular market niche okay because uh, the logic is simple if businesses can continually spend money to advertise to a particular group of people it usually means that this group of people are buying you know products and services online to justify you know the businesses ad spend so if you see ads and if you see uh, businesses advertising in your niche online that's a good sign because uh, it means that there's there's money to be made in this niche okay so on the other hand if you don't see any ads if you don't see any business advertising at all it, that's a really bad sign because it, it usually means that uh, no one you know even bothers to advertise that because there's, there's no money to be made okay so if you see competition if you see uh, advertisements that's a really good thing okay so competition is good uh, so let me just let me just give you an example let's say you go to Google and you type uh, golf swing okay I'll just use this as an example and what you will see is that on the right hand side you see all these ads and that's a good thing because it means that you know businesses can afford to advertise to to the golf swing market because the people in the golf swing market are spending money uh, to find out how do we prove their golf swings, they're spending money on products or services or coaching lessons or you know whatever the heck it is, and you know uh, businesses are advertising to these group of people. So this is there is money to be made in this particular market niche, okay. But again, on the other hand, if you don't see any ads, if you don't see any businesses advertising, that's a b that's a bad thing, okay. So the golf swing market is pretty hot, okay. So I just want to give you an example here, and uh, so how do you find out if your particular niche is profitable so where you want to go is you want to go to spy food and when you get there this is what you will see and what you want to do is you just want to type your uh, your root keyword into this box you see here and just hit search for me uh, my example is uh, weight training okay so what, what spy food will do is that it will you know take data from its database all right and uh, what it will tell you is on average how much businesses uh, are spending uh, per click, you know, for that for for the for the ads you see on the right hand side here, okay? How how much uh, on average are businesses spending per click for uh, the the ads in the weight training niche? So as you can see, uh, over here it's forty four cents to over a dollar. So the rule of thumb is this: if businesses can afford to spend twenty five cents or more, uh, that's a good sign because uh, you know the higher that businesses can afford to pay for the ads, it, it means the profit potential in that niche is 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 even higher. Okay, it's higher, it's high as well. Okay, on the other hand, if you know businesses can only afford to pay ten cents or fifteen cents per click, it means the profit potential there is a lot lower because you know um, expensive ads are not gonna break even or make money for the business. So the higher the the ad spend here, uh, that's a good thing. So twenty five cents or more. The other thing you want to take note of is that how many businesses are advertising to the weight training niche, okay, or to your niche. And as you can see, SpyFu says there are none, but uh, the thing is, the free version of SpyFu is not exactly up to date. So if you see this, you just want to double check. So how you do it, you just want to go to Google and you just type the, the same keyword into Google and see if, you know, if ads are appearing on the right hand side. So just hit search in Google and uh, is this weight training alright okay so as you can see there, there, there are not <laughs> many advertisers as well but the reason uh, for this is because I'm using uh, the Singapore version of Google and uh, most times uh, most people don't really target the ads to Singapore because we're a pretty small place okay so what you want to do is you want to go to uh, the US version of Google and the way to do that is uh, to to master proxy okay 
don't worry if you don't know what that means it, it's just something okay so where I go to is I go to proxify.net and this is the site that you see and what you want to do is you just type google.com and uh, you just click proxify and you'll go to uh, the US version of Google okay and I just want to type weight training and see how many ads are there in the US Google okay and as you can see there there are many ads for weight training uh, in the real Google okay I mean the US Google alright so uh, that's a good thing so if you see ads again that's a good thing so uh, two things number one is you want to see if uh, businesses are spending at least 25 cents or more per click okay and the other thing is you want to see at least seven seven advertisers or more okay so in this case uh, yeah there there are more than seven uh, advertisers here and uh, they are spending at least 44 cents or higher so uh, there's pretty pretty good profit potential in the weight training niche okay uh, so uh, I want to show you something else. If uh, let let me show you weight training program. Oops. Okay, a program. All right. Now take a look at this. Um, it's still more than twenty five cents, but there are over twenty advertisers. Uh, and for the for this keyword alone, so there's there are a lot of advertisers for this keyword, which is a really good sign because it means that there is there's profit potential in this market because you know there are there are so many businesses advertising to this particular group of people so um, step one is you want to find out if you know I'll just repeat it step one is you just want to find out if your particular uh, niche is spending 25 cents or more and if there are seven more advertisers and you want to play around so don't, don't just stick with weight training or bodybuilding you know play around with the different keywords and just get an overall picture of uh, how much uh, businesses are spending online and how many businesses are ab actually advertising okay so I'll play around with a few keywords to get a, a bigger a better bigger overall picture as well okay so as you can see for weight training program there are tons of advertisers at least 20 or more and what Spyfu will do is that it will list the top five um, advertisers for you to see and uh, the top 10 natural results as well so uh, wait, well you don't want to stop uh, just here what you want to